Barakatha Yehoah, Barakatha Yehoah Shai, Kol Halayim La Yehoah, Bahasham Yehoah Shai, Barakha HaKodash, which means all praises to Yehoah is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yehoah Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world only called Jesus Christ. Barakha HaKodash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, when we worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel and truth and the sincerity, all in charity. It's Brother Mathathew from the Great Millstone Camp, the branch on Des Moines. And um, you can see here on your screen, this is um, a video that the, uh, the elder Apostle Tahar had uploaded to his page. Um, it says, Testimony, Jacob's Trouble Dream. And man, it's a, a, a beautiful dream, man. Beautiful vision, <laughs> you know. I call it a vision, man. Beautiful vision, you know, that Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah gave this uh, particular brother, you know, in order to um, to encourage and in order to exhort the hopeful elect, man. Right? Because the Lord will take care of, uh, of, of, of his servants. You know, and um, just a few key points that I want to uh, hop on, you know, that the brother mentioned. The, uh, the one that was prevalent in my spirit, you know, that stuck out to me the most was how when all hell and chaos was breaking forth, he said that he was calm. Why? Because... The apostles and elders of Great Millstone through the Holy Spirit prepared him for such a time, man. As it is written in the book of Isaiah. Let's get that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33. In verse six, it says in wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh Basham Yahweh is his treasure, man. So it says what this wisdom, this knowledge, this word. Is going to comfort us in the times of chaos, man. See, because we understand that these things must needs take place in order for the kingdom of heaven to be established. So when we see these things, man, it, it, we have the comfort of knowing that these things must needs be. Right? Because the prophecies tell us. This is the book of uh, Ezekiel chapter 7. And verse 5, thus saith the Lord power. And evil and only evil, behold, is come, an end is come, the end is come, it watches for thee, behold, it is come. So according to Daniel 12, it says a time like none other. See, evil just means bad times. Bad times are going to be upon this place, man. This is the book of Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, right? And evil and only evil. Such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be found written in the book. Those who are applying the wisdom and knowledge, man. <laughs> Those who are walking in the spirit of this book. You see? Because another point the brother made, he said, uh, uh, you know, when his uh, uh, family and his woman was all nervous and scared. And he was like, look, man, I, uh, this is what I was doing these lessons for. This is what I was... Uh, uh, um, Hitting the highways and hedges for, you know, and not only that, that's a major part of, of, of our walk. But not only that, but this is why I'm I'm I'm, I'm disciplining myself in the sight of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, not in the sight of men, but in the sight of the Lord, man. This is why I repent when a when an evil thought come into my mind. This is when I fast when the Spirit is on me to fast. This is what I'm doing my arms and giving it when a brother need in secret, man, and not in the open for others to see. Truly applying these words and walking in the spirit of these words, man. Because we expect the victory. Right? And that's what the... Hey, man, that, that is what Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah is looking for, man, when he returns. It says, when he returns, shall he find faith on the earth, man? It's going to be so much death out here. Also, because what? A lot of people, man, is going to lose faith and lose hope when all these things start to happen, man. But the Lord is looking for men who are expecting a victory. Let me get this, man, because this is all this is all that was going through my spirit, man, while I was uh, uh, listening to the, uh, uh, you know, the brother lesson, man, with a big ass smile on my face, man, charged in the spirit. This is the book of Second Maccabees 15. And I get straight to the point, man, because this, this, this whole thing is good, but I get straight to the point. This 15 and 7, it says, but Maccabeus, keep in mind, this was a whole uh, company, a whole army of ungodly, of wicked heathen that were coming up against us, man. 
Right. But verse seven, it says, but Maccabeus had ever sure confidence that the Lord would help him. Wherefore, he exhorted his people not to fear the coming of the heathen against them. You see, the brother said within the, uh, within his dream and an EMP uh, attack happened, knocked out all the power. Well, it says in the second address, um, is it the uh, let me hold this on deck. Where is that? A second address. Is it the sixth chapter? This second address six. Yep. In 24, it says at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. That was what the brother was seeing. He said well, it was all kind of chaos going on, man. <laughs> he said he went outside. He couldn't even go three blocks down the street, man. There was so much chaos and, 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 and death. It says, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still. And in three hours, they shall not run because this water system. How, 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 how is it pumped into the, uh, into these houses, man? It's electrical. <laughs> you see? So when all that happens, man, it won't be no running water. Right? It speaks about, uh, uh the brother spoke about how the army going to come in. How the army was coming in, taking uh, uh, the, uh, the things that people had. This is the book of Second Edris. 16. In verse 40, it says, oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to the battle. See, this is what we're telling the people, man. Make you ready for the battle. Just like just like uh, uh, that second Maccabees 15. Lord, we're going to go back to it. It was a battle that was about to happen, man. But Maccabeus, Judas Maccabee had ever sure confidence the Lord will help him. So when all hell starts to break loose, we have to have this same confidence in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. What are we doing these things for, man? Not just the sit down lessons, not just the highways when we on the highways and hedges, not what's seen in, uh, in the public. Not according to what man's eye can see. I'm talking about in, 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 the, in the sincere, true brothers and sisters know, man. The battle that you have within yourself. Right. When you have an evil thought, how you repent to the Lord. When you do go off oh, like, fuck, why the fuck did I do that, man? Begging the Lord for uh, for forgiveness, man. Striving your best. To make the right decision to reason right within your spirit. To make sure your actions is in line with the precepts, man. What are we doing all this for? It's for that victory, man. It's for that victory, right? But it says. Come on now. Man, oops. It's the seven, same seven chapter. Whoo, man. Man, I'm, I'm going to just keep reading down, man. I'm going to keep reading down. I'm going to start back up. Ezekiel 7 and 5. Thus saith the Lord power, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, and evil and, and only evil, behold, is come. An end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come. The day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. And my eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and thy abominations that are in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shad that smiteth, man. Woo -woo. See, these people gonna know, man. These people gonna know. That it's a higher power, man. It's a higher being that's doing these things. Verse 10. Behold, the day, behold, it is come. The morning is going forth. The rod hath blossomed. Pride hath budded. Violence is risen up into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, nor of their multitude, nor of any of theirs. Neither shall there be wailing for them. The time is come, the day draweth near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is upon all the multitude thereof, man. Why? Because their goods going to be taken away. We're going to read that going back to second address. Verse 13. For the seller shall not return to that which is sold, 
although they were yet alive. For the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof, which shall not return, neither shall any strengthen himself in the iniquity of his life. <laughs> man, it's going to be bad out here for these people, man. Verse 14, they have blown the trumpet. Isaiah 58 and 1, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sins. Except ye shall repent, ye shall all likewise perish, man. This is the message that we're sending forth. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They have blown the trumpet, even to make all ready, but none go off to the battle, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof, man. You see? So we're blowing the trumpet, but yet these people ain't taking heed to the things we're saying, so they're gonna be caught out there. They're gonna be caught out there, right? And that's why the Lord got all with the false prophets. This is Ezekiel 13. And four, O Israel, thy prophets, the false ones, right? Because when you read up, this is Ezekiel 13 and one. And the word of Yahweh came unto me saying, son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy and say unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. Hear ye the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. So Ezekiel being the true prophet with whom we represent, we're standing in a lot of Ezekiel. And that's why you hear us getting on the rest of these guys, man, because they're not preparing their congregation for what's to come. You got certain guys saying Jacob's trouble ain't going to happen. Then he backtrack. <laughs> certain guys talking about you can take the Jamba juice. Well, if, he, if, 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 if that nigga talking about you can take the Jamba juice, man, you already know when the when the uh, when the C-hip comes out, man. He oh that ain't that ain't. No, go ahead. See, these guys are not preparing the people for what's to come, man. It says, thus saith the Lord power. Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert, slick, sly, right? Ye have not gone up into the gaps, meaning they're not building a hedge. See, because the house of Israel was full of breaches and holes, man. And the prophet's job was to fill those breaches, to fill those holes, to build that defense. What did the Lord tell his, uh, 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 Jeremiah? And, and, and that brother's dream is a testament to that, man. That those that's, that's taking heed, man, to the true doctrine, they're going to be protected because they're preparing themselves for what's to come in the spirit, man. It's Jeremiah 1. In verse 18. It's like you. It's Jeremiah 1 and 18. It says, For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city and an iron pillar and brazen walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land, man. <laughs> Jeremiah 6. In 27, it says, I have set thee for a tower and a fortress among my people that thou mayest know and try their way. That's it. Who man, verse 26, cool too, man. Okay, because that's what's going to be out here. I'm going to read it. Verse 26, O daughter of my people, gird thee with sackcloth and wallow thyself in ashes make thee mourning as for an only son most bitter lamentation for the spoiler shall suddenly come upon us man and hey, and there's some armies that the brother seen coming in jeremiah 15 and 20 and i will make thee unto this people a fenced brazen wall and they shall fight against thee but they shall not prevail against thee for i am with thee to save thee and to deliver thee saith yahweh bahasham yahweh shai man so let's go back to ezekiel ezekiel 13 and those who hearken unto what what what, what do yahweh shai say he that uh, uh, uh receiveth the prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward well, what did the Lord just tell Jeremiah? I am with thee to save thee and deliver thee. That's the prophet's reward, man. It's salvation, it's deliverance. So those that receive the prophet in the name of a prophet, in the name of the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, they're going to receive that deliverance as well, man. Which is what that brother's dream testified of. 
Ye have not, back in Ezekiel 13 and 5, ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You see? So let's go back to uh, uh, Second Edges. Back in Second Edges 16, verse 40. It says, O my people, hear my word, make you ready to thy battle. Uh, to the battle, is supposed to say. And then those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. He that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away. And he that buyeth as one that will lose. Right. Because the brother seen what? Uh, 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 the armies was coming in, taking all the things that the people uh, had, 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 had stored up, man. <laughs> so so all that's going to be taken, man. Basically, all, your, all everything you're laboring for is in vain. And it's going to say it. Verse 42. He that occupieth merchandise as he that hath no profit by it. And he that buildeth as he that shall not dwell therein. He that soweth as if he should not reap. So also he that planteth the vineyard as he that shall not gather the grapes. They that marry as they that shall get no children. And they that marry not as the widowers. And therefore they that labor, labor in vain. For strangers shall reap their fruits and spoil their goods. Overthrow their houses and take their children captives. For in captivity and famine shall they get children. And the brother said that they were taking certain children, man. <laughs> See, this is all prophecy. This is all prophecy, man. But, 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 but what did that brother say about him and his family? That they was protected. This is the book of 2nd Edris. Chapter 2. In verse... 24. Matter of fact, I'll start at 20. The second edge is 2 and 20. It says, do right to the widow, judge for the fatherless, give to the poor, defend the orphan, clothe the naked. And that's all what we're doing through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. Heal the broken and the weak. Laugh not a lame man to scorn. Defend the maim and let the blind man come into the sight of my clearness. And we do this through uh, through our teachings and through our application of what's written. It speaks about um uh uh, uh walk with wisdom to them that are that are without. Man, I'm roughly paraphrasing this in Peter. That it says that the uh, uh, that they may glorify the Father which is in heaven. Man, I'm roughly paraphrasing the precept. You know. So it's not just, you know, through these lessons, but it's also through our conduct. It's also through our, our manner of life. But it says, verse 22, keep the old and young within thy walls up oh, that brazen wall. <laughs> you see. I believe the song of Solomon, the eighth chapter, it speaks about, oh, thou were my brother that sucked the breast of my mother talking about wisdom. Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. It says that I will bring thee into my house, man. And this is exactly what we're doing. And, 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 and that's the spirit, you know, because within the walls toward the end of the brother vision, uh, 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 the brother that, that that brought them to that underground, that, that, that secret plate. Matter of fact, let me get it. Let me get it. Where he's seen all the, uh, uh, all the brothers and sisters and their children, man, rejoicing. That's the secret place. This is the book of Psalms 91 and one. That's that's the old and young being within the walls, man. Within within this faith. You see. And that's the importance of us teaching because these words, this is the measuring stick. And this is what keeps everybody in line and within the borders, man. This is Psalms 91 and one. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. I will say unto, I'm sorry, I will say of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power in him will I trust, man. So that brother going uh, uh, down to that underground little spot where all the rest of the brothers and sisters and their children were, because that's the secret place of the, uh, of the Lord. That's this knowledge, man. Right? Let's go back. Second address two. Verse 22, keep the old and young within thy walls. Wheresoever thou findest the dead, take them and bury them. And I will give thee the first place in my resurrection. And that's what we're looking forward to, man. Just like how Tobit was physically uh, burying the dead bodies of his uh, of his people. That's what we're doing in the spirit when we out there on our highways and hedges. And when we do these sit down lessons, man. And once again, in our conduct, in our everyday life, we might have a, 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 a co-worker we work with, man. We ain't saying nothing too about the faith. 
but yet they see our conduct, how we deal, how we handle ourselves, and then they acquire like, man, hey, man, there's something about you, you know. You see, next door neighbor or something like that, man. Because it speaks about a husband can be won by the conversation of uh, or the conduct of his wife when she repents and, 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 and walks in the right spirit. So how much more a man of the Lord, man? But verse 24, <clears throat> abide still, O my people, and take thy rest, for thy quietness shall come. Nourish thy children, O thou good nurse, establish their feet. And that's, man, once again, it's the purpose of these lessons, man. To exhort, to encourage, to edify, to establish our feet. Verse 26, as for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance, man. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. My hand shall cover thee so that thy children shall not see hell, man. And this is exactly what happened uh, within that brother's dream. <laughs> hey, so we can expect a victory, man. Let's go back. I'm tripping. Let's go back. Second Maccabees 15 and 7. It's back in Second Maccabees 15 and 7. But Maccabeus had ever sure confidence that the Lord would help him. Wherefore, he exhorted his people not to fear the coming of the heathen against them, but to remember the help which in former times they had received from heaven and now to expect the victory and aid which shall come unto them from the almighty man. Remember the help in former times. Not only the things that are written for our learning, like it says in Romans 15 and 4, Sirach 2 and 10, look to the generations of old and see whoever trusted in the Lord was confounded, whoever called upon him and was forsaken. Right. Roughly paraphrasing a precept, but also in our own personal lives. See what the Lord is bringing us through, through these trials and tribulations, man. And he still has the spirit upon us to endure it, to go through it. And he deliver us from it, man. That's him strengthening us and preparing us for the time to come. So we can look back in our own walk and be like, man, bro, the Lord delivered me from that. Why wouldn't he deliver me from this? What does it say here? This is the book of uh, Jeremiah 15 and 11. It says, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah said, Verily, it shall be well with thy remnant. Verily, I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in the time of evil and in the time of affliction, man. So this is what we can look forward to. The Lord said what? This is the book of Isaiah. 65. Verse 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Paul, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink. But ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. That brother was taken care of within his dream. Hey, and the brother you call uh, uh, out here in, um, you know, uh, in our camp, his rib, she had a dream of us uh, 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 on the road, man. You know, kind of like the movie The Road, how they were uh, 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 walking. So she had a dream that, that we was out and we and we was all walking in search of food, man. And we all came uh, uh, to a well. We came to a well, right? An old fashioned well, you know, and we looked in it and it wasn't nothing in it. It was bone dry, you know, and she said within the dream that I said, man, we just going to sit by this well. We going to wait, you know, so we decided to wait by the well and, um, the whale started to glow. Man, I wish the brother of your car was here, man, because he, he, he could tell it better than me. But the whale started to glow. You know, so we was looking like, oh, shit, man, what the fuck? You know, then we looked in the whale, man, and, 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 and you know, the bucket that you use to pull, you know, we, 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 we drew it out of the whale, man. And it was all kind of food. It was water. It was all kind of things that, that, that was needful for us to sustain life, man. And when the brother told me the dream, this is all I thought about. It's Isaiah 12 and 3. Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation, man. Right? And that's all I thought about, man. 
When he told me that, I'm like, man, they call Halal Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You know? And these dreams, man, they, 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 they are given as faith boosters, man. So that we can expect the victory and aid once again. Because it's all throughout the scriptures. What happened with Elijah? It's a lot. This is the book of uh, 2 Kings. Nope, it's 1 Kings. It's like it. It's 1 Kings 19. In the previous chapter, if I'm not mistaken, it's either a, a 17 or 18. Uh, 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 birds came and fed Elijah while he drunk by the water of the brook. So we got all these different accounts within the scriptures, man. Hey, and, and, and he spoke about how a certain brother appeared when they started to, his family started to run out of a, uh, his family started to run out of uh, food and water. And he said a certain brother appeared every week, <laughs> right? And, 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 and delivered them the things they needed. This is uh, the book of uh, Bell and the Dragon, verse 30. Now, when the king saw that they pressed him sore, being constrained, he delivered Daniel unto them, who cast him into the lion's den where he was six days. And in the den, there were seven lions and they had given them every day two carcasses and two sheep, which then were not given to them to the intent they might devour Daniel. So here it is, it's hungry as lions in there, man. So they starved the lions out. They didn't give them, they didn't give them their daily meal, right? So they starved the lions out and hoping that the lions would, 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 would snack on Daniel, right? Verse 33. Now there was in Jury a prophet called Habakkuk who had made pottage and had broken bread in a bowl and was going into the field for to bring it to the reapers. But the angel of the Lord said unto Habakkuk, go, carry the dinner that thou hast into Babylon unto Daniel, who is in the lion's den. And Habakkuk said, Lord, I never saw Babylon, neither do I know where the den is. Then the angel of the Lord took him by the crown and bare him by the hair of his head and through the vehemency of his spirit, set him in Babylon over the den. And Habakkuk cried, saying, O Daniel, Daniel, take the dinner which the most I have sent thee. And Daniel said, Thou hast remembered me, O power, neither hast thou forsaken them that seek thee and love thee. So Daniel arose. And, let's read 38 again. And Daniel said, Thou hast remembered me, O power, neither hast thou forsaken them that seek thee and love thee, man. And, th and it reminds me of this. This is the book of Nehemiah. Thirteen and twenty-nine. Remember? No, 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 no. That's not the one. Man. Let's lock it real quick. Bear with me, Baba Kusha. Yep. Nehemiah 13 and 14. Remember me, O my God, concerning this and wipe not out my good deeds that I have done for the house of my power and for the offices thereof, man. So what we're doing through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is not in vain. The Most High is not unrighteous to forget our work and labor of love, which he have showed toward his name and that we have ministered to the saint and to the saints and what? And yet do minister. That's Hebrews 6 and 10. You see that? It says the Most High is not a man that he shall lie. I believe there's another one. Um, yep. Second Kings 20 and 3. I beseech thee, O Yahweh, by Sham Yahweh Shai. Remember how I have walked. Shows you it's an action. It ain't just teaching, but it's also living according to the spirit. It says now it says, remember how remember now how I have walked before thee in truth 
and with a perfect heart and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. And that's when the Lord uh, um, had mercy on him and gave him 15 more years, man. But the Lord, man, he has us in remembrance, man. He has us in remembrance. Man, let me get this. Precept just, 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 just popping in my spirit, man. It's like, uh, you know, I'm all over the place. This is a uh, second address 12 and 46. It says, be of good comfort, O Israel, and be not heavy, thou house of Jacob, for the highest hath you in remembrance and the mighty have not forgotten you in temptation, man. <laughs> you see? So the Lord is with us, man, and he got us, right? He got us. But hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back to the uh, uh, bell and the dragon. Verse 38 again. And Daniel said, thou hast remembered me, O power. Neither has thou forsaken them that seek thee and love thee. So Daniel arose and did eat. And the angel of the Lord said Habakkuk in his own place again immediately. And 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 and, and you can read, you know, the, the rest that those dudes that that that, that threw uh, 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 Daniel in there, they got judgment put on their ass, man. And Daniel was delivered. Right. Now, let's go back to Second Kings. Second Kings 19. And five, and as he lay and slept under a juniper tree, behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, arise and eat. And he looked and, and, and when you read up, man, uh, uh, Elijah was in a, a, the bitterness, of a bitter spirit, man. He, he he was going to catch so much hell. He was like, Lord, just take his life. You know, so at times, man, we might be in situations like that, but we got to keep the hope, you know. No matter how down we get in the spirit, how how bitter the situation might be, we got to keep the hope in you. How about Shem Yahweh shall remember to expect the victory and aid no matter how dim, dark, or grim things look. Verse 5. And as he lay and slept under a juniper tree, behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. And he looked and behold, there was a cake baking on the coals and a cruise of water at his head. And he did eat and, and drank. It say drink and laid him down again. And the angel of the Lord came again the second time and touched him and said, arise and eat because the journey is too great for thee. And he arose and did eat and drink and went in the strength of that meat 40 days and 40 nights unto Horeb, the Mount of the heavenly father, man. So the Lord allowed that meal to sustain him for 40 days and 40 nights. Lord might have us come across a, 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 a apple a goddamn plum and and allow that to sustain us for for 14 days or for 18 20 days or you know see it's nothing too hard for our power man this is the book of jeremiah Thirty-two and twenty-seven. Behold, I am Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? <laughs> you see that? And what did Jeremiah say? Uh, Jeremiah thirty-two and seventeen. And ah, it says, Ah, Lord Power, behold, Thou hast made the heaven and the earth by Thy great power and stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for Thee, man. Right? What did our, what did our Lord tell us, man? What did Yahweh Shah tell us out of His own mouth? Look at these three, look, these, these, these three accounts, man. One in Matthew, one in Mark, and one in Luke, right? Let's read the one in Matthew, Matthew 19, 26. Hey, and, and pause these, man, and, 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 and read these, man. It says, but Yahweh shall beheld them and said unto them, with men, this is impossible. But with the heavenly father, all things are possible, man. All things are possible. You see? So let's go back. That's why that's why I said what? That is nothing for the uh, 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 for the Lord, you know, to deliver a few from 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 from, uh, uh, from a multitude. I'm roughly paraphrasing, you know, uh, it's another place in Maccabees. But I'm gonna read this and close out. 
This is 2 Maccabees 15 and 9. And so comforting them out of the law and the prophets, this is our comforter. Remembering these words, that's what kept that brother in the sane mind. That's what kept, kept him stable. Because he remembered these precepts, he remembered these words. And so comforting them out of the law and the prophets and with them putting them in mind of the battles that they won afore, he made them more cheerful. And when he had stirred up their minds, he gave them their charge, showing them wherewith the falsehood of the heathen and the breach of oaths. Thus he armed every one of them, not so much with defense of shields and spears as with comfortable and good words. This is how we arm each other, man. Put on the whole armor of the Lord. That we may be able to stand and having done all to stand. The book of Ephesians, the sixth chapter. That brother dream is a testament unto that, man. These words are faithful and true. It's a buckling shield. It says, and besides that, he told them a dream worthy to be believed as if it had been so indeed, which did not a little rejoice them. And that brother's dream rejoiced the hell out of me, man. You know, so that's it, man. Lord, will I hope this was edifying. The water of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. I was inspired through the Holy Spirit, through that brother's dream, man. You know, so once again, Lord, will and I hope this was encouraging and edifying through the spirit. The water of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, call Halal Yimla, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Barachah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who are preaching the gospel in truth and sincerity, always in charity, who is rightly dividing the word of truth directly and correctly. Peace, blessings, salutations to you brothers, to you few sisters as well as listening and learning in silence. Shalom, blessings to your household.